Alright, so you want to learn the great sword? I got you. But before we get started, I'm just going to let you know for the newer players out there, this weapon is not really new player friendly, so I advise you just to play like spear or maybe sword because sword is it basically plays itself. But anyways, I recommend this for like gold to like diamonds because those players like they they got the game knowledge and like they got the bit of movement. So, yeah. Let's just get it started. All right, first I have picking your great sword legend. If you want somebody that's just great all around, that can just do it all, the best legend right now for great sword, pick Jayun. He's just really easy. He's really easy to learn the character. Very simple. Then I have Arcadia, which if you want a tactical great sword that's hard hitting and a bit more stylish, she's a bit harder on the great sword legend side. She's pretty hard to play, but if you want to go for Arcadia, you can go for Arcadia. If you want a more tanky greatsword, you can go Magar. He's the highest defense character in the game. He's, he, he's pretty easy to learn. He's like not too hard. He can get the job done, which is kind of nice. And like having that defense, just not dying, it's just mwah, really good. Last but not least, I have Mako. And if you want a really fast greatsword that's really aggressive, great signatures, you can go for Mako. And she's not that hard to learn. She's actually pretty easy. Now that you have the Greatsword Legend that you want to play, now I'm about to talk to you about Greatsword itself. The most important thing you need to know before playing Greatsword is how to dash cancel. You can dash cancel by holding down and dashing after any attack, which will make your Greatsword reset back to neutral. This is a really important key because this is how you get all your reads on Greatsword. Now that you know how to greatsword dash cancel, now it's time for me to talk about some of these greatsword moves because there's a lot of them, but most of them are kind of useless so that's a plus for me and you. Greatsword has three different movesets. There's starters, there's bridges, and there's finishers. Starters are indicated by a light whitish color. There's three of them you can use, but the best one is Psylight and then Inlight and then D-Light being last. D-Light is not really that useful. It has a lot of range, but some I just haven't had that much success with it because I don't know it just gets beat by everything in neutral for some reason. Next I have is bridges and they're indicated by a yellowish color on great sword and the only bridge you should be using is downlight bridge because the rest of the bridges are kind of trash especially satellite bridge. Inlight bridge is okay but it's just it's too slow and it kind of drops. Last but not least I have finishers and finishers are indicated by orange's color and they're the last part of a great sword combo. The only finisher you need to know is to just do the inlight finisher. The rest of the finishers like sidelight and downlight finishers are kind of just bad and drop. Though you can also use finishers by GCing which is pretty decent. The only one I really like is kind of like the get off me downlight GC. And if you use the same move twice in a row it automatically puts you in the finisher so that's pretty okay I guess. Okay now it's time for me to talk about some great sword combos. Sidelight D-Light is true the closer you hit it. Dare into Nair is a pretty consistent combo, but the most important combo you need to know is Inlight D-Light Inlight, because this move is the best punish and it is unjumpable. This is how it looks in a read. The only read you actually need to know is this, because it covers every dodge. I don't know why BMG decided that Great Sword was a good idea. All right, now let's talk about Great Sword aerials. Great Sword recovery is not the greatest. It's kind of still kind of bad. The only way, like the only reason to use it is just for killing offense. Defensive, this is kind of a bad move. I'd rather use like a jump there and just cover it. But at least you can like do the same thing like boat and spear can do, where they can just hit you off stage, like off the edge, which is kind of cool. The other two I have is Saber and Nair. Now you're gonna be using them all quite a bit because a lot of people jump against Great Sword. I don't know why. It, like everybody just jumps against great sword and they think that's the way of playing against great sword but it just kind of makes it worse for them especially when you catch the landing sarah on great sword is also kind of like a side force field and it also can spike which is like okay how you play great sword in game is basically just throwing out your starters over and over again into in light reads that's literally how, that's all i have to tell you that's because that's literally what great sword is it's just the same move in a loop and also a couple aerials now and then but mostly you're just going to get most of your damage from the Satellite Inlight Reads. Because Satellite Inlight Read is a pretty easy read. It covers every dodge. The only time you need like to slow down is for when people spot dodge. That's literally Great Sword. That's literally Great Sword. That's all I have to tell you with Great Sword, not gonna lie. Like, that's basically what you do. You just look for Satellite Inlight Reads and boom, you just win the game.
And that is everything I need to talk about the Grey Sword. I'll see you guys pretty soon because it's going to be going out pretty early. So expect to see a couple of two other Brawlhalla, <laughs> Brawlhalla videos coming up. So yeah, goodbye.